Welcome to the farm. We're Underwood Family Farms and we're certified organic dairy. We also raise uh, grass-fed beef and pasture-raised pork and pasture-raised veal. And we've been doing this about 15 years now. So um, we're going to take you for a little guided tour around our farm and show you what, what we do and how we do it. And you can see how how much love we put into the animals that we raise and the products that we provide. some of those genetics into the herd to provide a better heat tolerance and parasite resistance. Uh, this little girl right here is 44. She's one of our mischievous babies. Uh, she's got a lot of personality. Uh, as you can see, she's wanting and to no check fear. out. No fear of anybody. Uh, we, uh, we like those type of cows. So all these cows, we leave them, uh, we, we what we do is we, we separate them from the mother and then we bottle feed these calves until they are from anywhere from eight to 10 months old. Uh, and then we, then we wean them and they go over to our heifer, heifer pasture uh, where when, uh, when they get a little older, uh, then we breed them and then they come into the uh, black lactating herd. And, uh, so this is where we raise our farm calves at. And all these are, uh, these calves, are a lot there have a lot of jersey uh, we do artificial insemination and natural bulls um, that's why we have one bull calf in here that he'll be a, a, what we consider a cleanup bull so stuff that i don't artificially inseminate we uh, we let the bulls clean up and i also like to use a bull for our heifers because we don't keep the heifers uh, with us right close to us yeah. And, uh, these uh, we consider these all our babies. We're with them every day, twice a day, all year round. So uh, at Underwood Family Farms, we are uh, certified organic, grass-fed dairy, uh, and we also raise pastured pork, which is not certified organic. So all of, uh, we we feed we are, our hog feed comes from uh, southern states, uh, and uh, and then. Uh, on top of, in the winter time, uh, the cows get alfalfa and they get a little bit of molasses. And so the, the big jug is, is some certified organic mola molasses. And then uh, we, we'll walk around and show you our hay shed where, where we store all our feed. So this is, uh, in the winter time, this is uh, what the cows eat and it's uh, certified organic alfalfa hay. It comes out from uh, North Dakota or South Dakota. We get it shipped in. Uh, it's 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 the best quality hay we can get. So uh, the, our pasture for our cows, uh, our farm, 
we've got a, uh, about 60 acres that we own of pasture and then we rent another 30 acres uh, from our neighbor. So we're, we're working on about 90 acres of pasture right now. And over the years it's varied up and down depending on what land we rent. And we're working with a, a neighbor who, whose land we've gotten certified to uh, produce local hay as well. Uh, so that's something we're really looking forward to in the future, not having to get so much hay from, from out in the Dakotas and have more high quality local hay. Where we're walking to right now is down to where we keep our pigs. But uh, it, it's pretty wet with all the rain we've had, so it's going to look a little muddy. I'm going to stay out here with the dog. Okay. Just let Michael go up close to Well, she has to get trying. All right, take care. Come here, little girl. Come here. Yeah. You good girl. You sweet girl. Oh. The baby pigs are my favorite. <laughs> They're so sweet. These are our pigs that we're taking to the butcher right now. And, uh, and then after this group is out of here, what we do is we let it rest for six months and revegetate before we put another group in here. Because uh, you can see how destructive pigs can be to the ground, especially when it's wet and rainy like this. So this is a group that's just a little bit older than the babies, the brand new babies, the day old babies that you saw earlier. How old are these guys? Two weeks? Two months? So these are two month old little pigs and this is our sow. This is our lactating herd. These are all the cows that we milk um, twice a day. Two forty right here. This is one of our original ones that we got. Uh, they came from a retired Amish guy in Iowa, and we bought them in 2014 to start the our organic dairy. Every evening we go out and get the cows so that we can bring them up to the uh, parlor and milk them. Uh, we milk twice a day and so we're going to go milk the cows.
I've already done everything in here. So what we do is we let this tank right here, we let it fill up with warm water and cold water. And then whenever that's filling up, we'll usually come in here because there'll be water in that white tank. And I'll get buckets and I'll throw them down on these two platforms. And so that way when the cows walk in, they don't get it all like really dirty because the water just helps it clean off a lot better whenever they spray it off. And then I put that little bucket down there for the dirty laundry whenever we wipe the cows off. And then so once this is done filling up, we turn on the dairy and all you do is you switch it over to wash and then you have it on auto and you just let it run through and this pipe is usually over here up on this and it hangs down in here and water sucks up through this pipe and out into the parlor and it just rotates through all the pipes and then it will come back out through that pipe and so it will just keep on rotating and then when we're done we let it pump into here and fill all those buckets up and then you inside here you can take this little thing off and it releases this part of the pipe off from right here and then you put a filter in and that way like it just catches all the gunk from the milk if there's any like dirt that gets in there anyway or anything like that and it just stops it from going in here and then after that you come in here And go down here. Usually, this will be like this, and this will be on the wash, but you just switch it and you put this on because that way it doesn't have the suction because the milk will go in here and then it will get pumped through back in there into the tank. And there will be these are called the dairy cups and these will be hooked on like this and they'll be hooked on like that on all four and that's how the water comes through at the beginning but I just have to come in here and take these off and put them on here so we can make the cows with those and then by that time the cows should be in the barn and we go push them in here. And you can come in here too. Keep it as calm as we can to keep the cows happy. The calmer they are, the happier they are, the more milk they want to give us. So we use a, a hydrogen peroxide dip to, uh, to clean the, the teats 
before we milk them. Okay, yeah. so after we're done uh, cleaning off the cow's teats, now we'll turn the vacuum pump on so that we can uh, milk the cows. So, after all the cows are done milking, we dip them with a post dip iodine. And what that does is it seals up the, uh, the muscle where the milk comes out so that no bacteria gets up in there. The milk. What we're doing now is we just finished milking and now we, we clean up and we run. Uh, when we milk, we run three cycles. Before we milk, we run a sanitation cycle through our pipelines, then we milk, then we run a flush cycle to try and get as much of the milk out of the pipelines, then we run a soap cycle and an acid cycle to keep our pipelines free of any uh, dirt and bacteria. Okay, so after each milking, we feed our calves. So we feed our calves twice a day as well. And they get, uh, they get the milk that we don't put into the tank.
All right, that'll end it for our tour today. And we thank you all for coming along for the ride and hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>